What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? We tuning in for another video, man. It's a beautiful day today. Feel good. I'm going to pop some blocks, but not in this video. But, you know, I'm sitting down here. I was talking to wife and stuff, man. We were talking about the cars and all that. And then I just really got to thinking about how much money really has been put into Big Meats so far. And most of it healed pretty quickly because uh, y'all know we just recently redid everything and uh, the new setup needed a lot of stuff. So the fuel system, all of that, all of it, most of the most of the costs I'm about to go over, man, really was done just here recently because uh, beforehand the only thing I had done was stuff like the gauges and the tack and you know nope the tack the tack was done here yep now nah, the tack was done here recently too i mean when i did the first big block but all this stuff here recently pretty much this year because well not this year last year uh because you know man that's when i really got on the car before then y'all know we had the uh we had the auto zone crate motor here uh and the cost I'm gonna go over, man. If you were to factor in, I'm I'm including the cost of the new rear end too, the brand new rear end setup. I'm not even factoring the cost of what I put into that eight five. But if some people add like that, I mean, I add when I do bills. I'm talking about how the car currently sits. I mean, if you go into money that's been put into the car over the lifespan uh, here recently, then uh, of course the number will be higher. Cause I, I did that rear end from scratch and all that, but. We got meat out. Uh, we got meat out, man. And I'm going to go over the cost on everything with the car, man. I think I want to back it down and drive with stuff, too. I'm probably going to put some racing gas in it, man. Just let it circulate and stuff. You know, I try to keep it clean. Keep, it, keep the engine clean, too. But right now, it's full of pump gas. So, I'm going to put a little racing gas in it, man. See what to it. But, uh, y'all, stay tuned. All right, we got, we got meats pulled back. So before before I even get started on some of the breakdown of this car, man. And I like doing this stuff for people because I like to keep it realistic. Y'all know I got different calibers of cars, but different levels. But you know, you like to give people an idea of what it what it takes or what it's gonna cost to build something of this caliber or some, you know, something else more or whatever, more or less. Or whatever. But this give you a good idea, cause y'all know I build only true street cars. I don't really, I don't really build race cars or whatever. I never built a race car ever, honestly. I never had no desire car. If it's something I can't drive, I never wanted. It. That's just my opinion, and that's what keeps me in my bills. That's what a, that's what's a deal breaker for me when it comes to upgrades. If it's something that's gonna hinder, uh, how reliable the car gonna be in a driving situation i won't do it even if it restricts me to more around the town driving just you know you got a lot of people that just run around town if i can't decide like hey i want to drive out of state and then it's going to be wear and tear on a certain particular pistons or something you know some pistons they made you can drive you can drive and stuff and internals and but they're not made to run like year after year. They're not made for you to put a lot of miles on. So it's still like that that determines how far I go. But let's get into it. So I guess the first thing we're gonna go over is the exterior of the car, which 
there has been nothing done besides the wheels. Um, so in the wheels, you know, you got the wheels, or better yet, we're going to start underneath right here. So in the comments, I want y'all to put how much y'all think the total is in this car right now. What, how much money do y'all think is in this car right now as it sits, as y'all see it right here? Not not counting, not counting the rear end. I mean, as it sit, <clears throat> excuse me, as it sit with the nine inch rear end in it, and the aluminum exhaust I just paid for. I paid for a couple weeks ago. For the people that don't know, they don't watch everything. They ain't even gonna know I got aluminum exhaust. It's not on the car yet, but it's coming. We got the mufflers in, so right now still got the old stainless steel exhaust that came off of Dolo. But I want you to put the cost. That y'all think is in the car as it will have the aluminum exhaust and the new 9 inch profile rear. So I want y'all to put that. So pause the video and then put that. We're going to save underneath the hood last. So look, what I've done, and I keep I keep record of my stuff pretty good cause, uh, because I do content. So I keep, I keep a pretty good record of my stuff, man, and how much money gets spent. Can't keep up with everything. Like I got, I got hundreds of dollars in just fittings. Y'all know that if you remember the video, and that's why I did that video. If you remember the video where we went back to some and I took a lot of fittings back, I was like, "How much y'all think it's gonna come? It's gonna end up?" And it was like five hundred dollars. It was enough to buy some shocks. It was enough to buy some uh, car over shocks, QA1 car over shocks. If y'all remember that video, go back and see. I had it was like five hundred some dollars in fittings. So that give you a good little reference point on how quick just the fittings the AN fittings add up so that I really don't have the cost on the car because you buy them here and there and you just don't you don't have a clue uh but we're gonna start in suspension so suspension and rear end so what I have done is uh some uh y'all know I got the double adjustable uh, valve car, uh, double adjustable Carlos valve for this car. Um, I said Vikings is what I'm running right now. I might end up running to running some Mincers just because uh, I never had a tried Mincer, but I might end up buying some Mincer and switching over to Mincer just to see because I know Mincer man is hey, they're top tier, top tier. They got some technology in their shots and stuff. So I might end up going Mincers, but. Right now we got the Viking double adjustables. Uh, I don't have any special control lines up front. I, I haven't decided if I want to do that or not. But y'all know we just spent a big chunk on the all aluminum pro fabricated nine inch rear end, wide wood disc brake, slotted rotors, uh, and we have the Trick Tassie double adjustable upper than lower rear control line. So in the suspension, in the suspension alone, we have uh, a 7700. So suspension and rear end is $7,700. It, it really came out to like $7,692 or something, but I know it probably something I forgot, some nuts or bolts or something. But it's $7,700 and the suspension and the rear end set up alone. So... That's that right there. That's how much we got in that so far. Um, so next thing we're going to go to is, uh, let me see what I put. What I put on. I ought to set y'all up somewhere. Yeah, let me set y'all up. So the next thing we're going to go to is uh, the exhaust. Yes, nope, not the exhaust. We're going to go to that nitrous. We'll go to the nitrous set up next. Let y'all see how much in the nitrous. Alright. So the next so the next thing the next thing we got on the call sheet is the nitrous man. So the nitrous set up. And then I'm gonna go underneath, I'm gonna go uh nitrous set up referring to the nitrous kit, the uh I ain't even counting the bottle. I bought an extra bottle. I'm not even going to factor that in an extra 15 pound bottle. 
but referring to the nitrous kit, the purge kit, the uh, the progressive system, all of that stuff. So in the nitrous kit alone, man, the nitrous system components, I have uh, twenty. Blair. $2,500. Once again, it came up to like $2,498. If I remember right, because I just punched these numbers. So we got $2,500 in the nitrous kit alone. So then, then the next thing we're going to run to is the exhaust. So for people that haven't been uh, paying attention, like I said, I went ahead and skint down because you know the hangers broke and I got aluminum exhaust. I got a full aluminum exhaust for this car, three and a half inch versus three inch on Dolo. Three and a half inch, we got custom, all aluminum uh, CP mufflers. And the cost is, of the exhaust is all the tubing I added in, as well as the headers, cause this exhaust, this exhaust. But headers gonna actually go into the, under the hood cost too. But right now we're talking exhaust. So in the exhaust system, I punched the numbers. It's $4,436 in the exhaust exhaust alone man so y'all keep these numbers up now those the that was the only breakdown I did so what I'm about to do I'm about to come I'm about to come grab y'all I'm gonna come and grab y'all so um it had got dark anyway I don't know how they look but I fixed it but um that's where we at with the exhaust now the next thing how much is under the hood of this car and I didn't break down the fuel system. I didn't break down the fuel system, but the fuel system definitely over two thousand dollar car. It's it about it's three pieces in it. It's just three pieces in that fuel system that almost two thousand by themselves. So I know it well over that. Reason I didn't break down the fuel system individually is because you got all those fittings, man. And it's hard to track all those fittings because sometimes I buy them for multiple cars, so it'll be kind of hard to exactly track all them fittings. But I know it's well over thousand dollars in fittings in this car right here alone, cause everything a in. But how much under the hood? And it's another thing in cost. You know I haven't added. I forgot to add stuff like when I bought the new headlights, the LEDs, and all that. I got bumper fillers. I forgot to add all that stuff in. It's a lot of most a lot of stuff that I got for this car. That I didn't add in because I haven't put it down on my breakdown sheet. So it's mostly drive train related. I forgot to add the drive shaft in too. So whatever the total cost I tell on this video, man, you can add like another eight hundred and fifty dollars to it because that's how much I paid for the drive shaft. But um, how much is underneath the hood? And when I say that in the engine bay, I'm referring to the stuff under the hood that's right here in the engine bay. How much under the hood? And I'm talking about everything that basically the engine, the stuff on the engine, that stuff under the hood, the engine bay. So, what y'all think? What y'all think, man? How much y'all think under the hood, under the hood of meats? What y'all think, man? So, here we go. So, under the hood, we have a grand total of, let me pull it up, okay, 22,000, it's probably, uh, once again, I got some stuff I'm thinking about now that I forgot to add in, but we're going to say 22,000, because that's what, that's what I got, and then that's what I added up, but you know how it is with the car, you do so much, you get to forgetting, and, I, and it's, it's two big things on the hill that I forgot that'll probably take that cost on up up through there but for the sake of the video twenty two thousand dollars underneath they're just in this engine bay right here in the engine bay so uh that that's pretty much the breakdown of that and then you know you got still like the wheels and uh the tires the hood the hood was the hood was very the hood was expensive there, there was a uh, expensive piece too um then, like I said, it's a lot of little stuff. I didn't add in. It's called the speakers, the six by nines, the one oh fours, or the shifter. Man, that's a that's a almost five hundred dollar shifter. 
I done added in that. Then, you know, little buttons and switches. All this stuff add up, man. Uh, like I said, the gauges. And, man, it's just all type of stuff, man, that you don't think about. Like a little smaller stuff that add up and go into this. But the total cost, total cost that's in this car right now, you know, we still got to get painted and top, top got to be done. But it's uh, forty-two thousand one hundred and seventy-five dollars, man. That's how much in this car, plus eight fifty, so uh, forty-three. That eight fifty. Which is the dry shelf? I told you I forgot to uh, add that cost in, man. So right now, as it is, it's forty-three thousand dollars in this car right now. Oh, uh, this is a forty-three thousand dollar car right now, like it's set. Now, me just gazing off the top of my head, what it would probably end up being after me probably replacing the bumpers, uh, hitting, getting it painted interior get interior redone same way uh, man it probably and when it's all said and done it's a few things i got to do too but when it's all said and done man it probably gonna end up being uh it probably would end up being uh anywhere between a 65 to 70 thousand dollar car completed and yes, and my I do I, my cars can't be completed. People say you're never done working on them, uh, which you're not never done working on them. But as in building them, I do get done building. When I execute my plan, I'm done. If something break, then I have to fix it. But as far as saying I'm gonna change this or I need to do this, I need to do that. Once my plan executed, I'm done. I just drive my car and enjoy it. So I can finish my bills. I do finish my bills. But yeah, you never done working on them. So I say when meets is what I consider completed, it'll probably be it'll probably be like I said between a sixty five and seventy thousand dollar car cost. It's it's forty what I said, forty three. It's forty three thousand dollars in the car right now. Um and Dolo Dolo is right behind that too. Dolo right behind that, but it's a little it's a few more uh things done to dolo cosmetically than it is done to meets like i got the 2013 interior you have to fact that cost in uh dolo has a digital dakota digital dash and stuff in it uh it, it, it's a few more things done to that car uh cosmetically cosmetically a lot of that cost in this car is uh mostly drivetrain Mostly drivetrain, man. Minimal cosmetics, still mostly drivetrain. So, it, it, like I said, it's 40, 43,000 in this car right now. I know some people probably didn't even think that. Uh, some people probably guess low. Some people probably guess high. That's usually what it is when you get this stuff car. Unless you done built uh, quite a few of these things, then a lot of people don't really have an idea of what it what it costs to do this or complete these cars. So. Especially if you somebody that don't really do the bigger wheels, you might not necessarily know the cost of that. Or if you somebody that do the bigger wheels and don't get that serious with the drivetrain stuff, you more on the cosmetic side, then you ain't gonna understand. Cause you might not have to spend the money. You don't have to have a big aluminum drive shaft and solid U joints to upgrade your end to thirteen fifty and stuff like that. Uh yoke. So you know, it's stuff like that, man. Then see, I'm thinking about it. I forgot to add the fuel cell in. The cost of the fuel cell. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff, man. But then, like, when you get to adding in the cosmetic stuff, I bought these. I got these back there and this. I got all this stuff, man. It get to adding up. It get to really adding up. So, I was thinking about that. I try to keep y'all up to date on these uh, cost breakdown video. Cause I know a lot of people probably didn't have an idea. Some of y'all did though. Some people do know. Some people know their stuff, man. You can, you can say, hey, yeah, I know I done done it. I know about what this stuff costs and all that. But uh, yeah, that's what it is. But y'all know, let's crank this egg up. Um, I probably pulled Grandma Nana out too. Crank this egg up. Y'all ain't heard. Y'all ain't heard it just in a minute. I've been letting it chill. So I'm just waiting. 
I'm just waiting till that last peak come in so I can take it and get it done. Nope. We better be out of here, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all later, PCC. We out.